radioactive fallout detecting nuke sniffers sent to Japan. The United States and Japan have both deployed nuke sniffing aircraft following North Korea's sixth and most powerful nuclear test. On September 3rd, the DPRK conducted a weapons test at the underground Punguri nuclear test facility, with the explosion resulting in a 6.3 magnitude earthquake. A US WC-135 Constant Phoenix was deployed from Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska, landing at Okinawa's Kadena Air Base on September 5th. Commonly referred to as a nuke sniffer, the aircraft uses external flow-through devices to collect air particles on filter papers, measuring them on board for radioactivity. The nuke sniffers are also equipped to collect whole air samples inside holding spheres to be analyzed later on the ground. The North's nuclear test likewise prompted Japan to send three T-4 jets to collect dust and air samples for radiation testing. Japanese C-130 transport planes will also be checking for airborne radioactive gases, though the risk of the underground tests releasing toxic radiation is generally low. The Perils of Radiation Radiation still a concern decades after Chernobyl blast. 30 years ago today, an explosion tore through a reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Pripyat, Ukraine. It sent deadly clouds of atomic material into the air and is considered to be the world's worst nuclear accident. Months after the Chernobyl blast in 1986, a concrete sarcophagus was built over reactor 4 to contain the radioactive material inside. Years later, radiation is still present. Recent findings show milk from nearby farms contain a radioactive isotope 10 times higher than the allowed limit. The sarcophagus has since deteriorated, and engineers are currently building a giant stainless steel arch, more than 350 feet high and 500 feet long to replace it. Called the new safe confinement, the 36,000 ton structure will be wheeled in place upon completion in 2017, effectively sealing the sarcophagus. Giant hover cranes in the arch will then disassemble and clean up the exploded reactor contained inside. More than 40 countries donated funding for the arch, which is expected to prevent further leaks for the next 100 years. Child thyroid cancer cases up 50-fold after Fukushima disaster. Cases of thyroid cancer among children living close to the Fukushima nuclear power plant have increased 50-fold since 2011, four Japanese researchers said Tuesday in a report. Since the meltdown in March 2011, annual thyroid cancer incident rates in Fukushima Prefecture have been 20 to 50 times the national level. The findings were based on screenings of around 370,000 Fukushima residents aged 18 or younger at the time of the accident. The Fukushima Prefecture government identified 104 thyroid cancer cases as of late August. An area extending about 20 kilometers from the nuclear plant has been declared an exclusion zone. The government and some experts question the relation between these cases of thyroid cancer and the radioactive iodine released during the Fukushima disaster, because they say the amount was smaller than the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident. Tunnel collapses at Hanford nuclear site. Hundreds of workers were evacuated from one of the most radioactive sites in America on Tuesday, when a hole collapsed in a tunnel used to store nuclear waste. The Hanford site in Washington state covers an area of 586 miles, which is about half the size of Rhode Island. The collapse occurred in an area where two tunnels, used to store radioactive materials, joined together. The hole is around 20 feet long. The tunnels hold contaminated train cars and highly radioactive waste. According to reports, vibrations from nearby roadwork may have caused the tunnel to cave in. Emergency responders were using a robot to take video and survey the damage. According to Energy Department officials, there was no initial indication that radiation has leaked from the area. The last nuclear reactor to be shut down at the Hanford site was decommissioned in 1987. Austria, the small alpine nation known for their Red Bulls, their Schwarzeneggers, and occasionally for their Hitlers. Uh, moving along. A garbage truck in the town of Linz set off Geiger counters on Tuesday. Sparking fears the trash truck could contain a dirty bomb. So hazmat dudes were called in to investigate. When you're digging like a pig in shit, don't be surprised if you find... Diapers! Dozens of them, and all overflowing with radioactivity. Turns out they came from a hospital where the patients had consumed... 
radioactive iodine used in diagnostic procedures. Then the indiapered inpatients murdered some radioactive brown snakes. Now the truck will spend eight days encased in metal until the diaper's gnarly emissions dissipate. Experts have recently detected even higher levels of radiation than previously recorded around storage tanks at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, while contaminated water continues to leak from the facility and into groundwater and the ocean. Roughly 400 tons of water daily is used to cool the remaining fuel, but some escapes through cracks in the facility and into groundwater below. Meanwhile, the contaminated water that's been collected so far is enough to fill about 130 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The NRA has detected radiation near some tanks at levels of 2,200 millisieverts, the highest level recorded so far. This level would kill an unprotected person within hours. Experts estimate 300 tons of contaminated water leaks into the ocean daily and have recently detected heightened levels of strontium-90. Strontium accumulates in fish bones and is passed on to humans when eaten. Officials hope to prevent contaminated water from mixing with groundwater by creating an underground ice wall around the nuclear power plant. The ice wall project is estimated to cost about 47 billion yen or about 470 million U.S. dollars.